Hey, welcome back. In last video, we created our register function and logout. So in this video, we'll complete login and we'll show uh, data of phone book in our front end. So, so as we already created login and sign up component, so in our uh, login will be very similar to sign up. So we can copy this uh, method from here to our login uh, component and we just need to change this URL login and also remove the name. We just pass email and password. So everything else will be same. So on success, uh, just to see, I logged that and everything similar to the logout. So we got the access token and we set the uh, item in local storage. And so it is uh, not required. So we are looking at token if to verify if user is authenticated or not. So leave it, I'll leave it for now. So one uh, another thing I've added uh, behind the scenes is when user registers, I'm emitting this event that logged in. So after register, user is uh, getting logged in because we are setting the token. So we are emitting this event here. Also in login, we are emitting same ev uh, event logged in. Also, I'm redirecting user after login to home page slash. So that's it. Okay, so after uh, emitting this event, uh, we need to listen for this event. So uh, the purpose of this event is to perform the necessary action after user is logged in, like uh, changing the nav item. So in future, we'll uh, have more features, sorry, more function to do after login. That's why it is better to get it sorted out. So in app.view, which is the main component, so everything will be loaded inside app.view. Here inside created hook, uh, we are listening for logged in and also for logged out. So on logged in, we are performing on logged in action and similarly follow. So basically the uh, purpose of this logged in will be to change the auth menu like so. Actually, we have defined auth menu and no auth menu, which is now uh, which will be the simple menu so since we already defined we can use this start auth menu so that's it similarly on logout the menu will be changed to no auth menu so currently we have some uh, basic function while logging in and logging out okay so that's it uh, to get started you can just copy the code if you are following along or just yeah, basic thing. So let's verify that uh, I have this user already created and I will log in. Yeah, so after logging, it is taking me to home page and I have uh, loading basic contacts. So we'll make it a uh, data table in a moment. So for now, just yeah. Yeah, we, we uh, as you can see, we have changed the name menu. Also, when logging out, yeah, we got logged out and name many changes. Okay, so next step uh, is to load the phone book data and perform search on that. So, for that, we'll uh, use the beautify data table. So we'll show that and perform CRUD operation on data table. So before that, let's do some cleanup. We don't need this button. We made it just to check things out. We can get rid of that button. And that method as well. Yeah, so much cleaner. Uh, looks like auth menu is not changed. 
So similarly uh, from logout uh, while user is uh, logged out we are emitting this logout event. So if user visits to home page uh, we need to fetch the contacts data from our phone book uh, from backend API. So our that home page is currently called what is it called? We need to go to router index. So currently it is called hello world. Let's call it home and change it here home component. And let's go to hello world and rename it. There we go. And currently we are loading that. We can remove this block code. And then here we'll put our data table in a moment. So um, here when this component is mounted, we are facing the contact. So it is simple function which post the request to our backend API uh, slash contact and then loads the data. That's it. So as you can see uh, while loading this uh, we are getting error. Home not defined because it is still called hello world. Slight typo there. Okay. So as you can see, uh, while loading this page, we uh, we are getting unauthorized because it is sending requests to slash contact, which require authentication. So currently we are not authenticated; we are logged out. So what we'll do is, when user is not logged in and try to visit some route that is protected, we need to uh, redirect user to login page. So for that we can use uh, our view router uh, auth guards. yeah navigation guards so inside this navigation guard we'll use uh, global guard so before each route we'll check if uh, user is authenticated so let's go to router index mm, we got this router instance that we are exporting let's uh, extract this to variable it router let router equals to this there we go and before each uh, we need to call this router dot before each like so and then we need to check okay so to check authentication in level of routes uh, we have created uh, this before each card navigation card uh, implemented this so uh, I have defined a constant open routes that is uh, that doesn't require authentications authentication so currently login and sign up these name so what I'm checking is if uh, if uh, the route where we are trying to access or if uh, the component which we are uh, trying to access contains inside open routes if that is open routes then we'll allow user to visit if else if uh, token is present then we'll allow otherwise in all other case we redirect user to login component or login page so that's the basic uh, workflow so let's test, uh, try to visit sign up, it visits, try to visit login, try to visit sign up, okay. And when user try to uh, visit home page, it should uh, redirect user to login form. So now let's log in. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so we can visit home page and see all phone book. So this is the uh, basic authentication part. So we learned how to log in, register and protect the routes from to check the authentication in route level. So next we'll uh, create a data table and perform the uh, contacts or phone book crud here.